But I'm having fun! Hi, Susan here with another video for 3.15 Expedition League, and I wanted to talk a little bit about nerfs and buffs specifically regarding crafting. So we can start with talking about fossils. Fossils, when they were implemented, were very, very strong. Fossils were introduced and they would have their own mods on them. So a lot of those mods are now in like Crusader, Hunter, Elder mods and stuff like that. I sort of see the reasoning for it as well a little bit. There, there's like, I'm, I'm sort of in two minds here because obviously it was really cool that fossils had their own mods that you can only get through fossils, but maybe it would have been too strong if they had their own mods and then the Hunter, Shaper, Crusader mods had to have an entirely different set of mods um, and you'd be able to get them from both places or some places. Like, I can see that that was maybe a little bit hectic. Maybe not necessarily the worst nerf looking back at it, because pyro creep is a very real issue in games and obviously that can be problematic for a lot of games and and very few games have dealt with pyro creep in a good way now we don't really know if path of exile is doing it the right or the wrong way right time will tell time will definitely tell with that one but obviously a lot of people are unhappy right now um and we'll see if that's the case in the future and then next up cluster jewels are introduced cluster jewels are incredibly strong they're relatively easy to craft and obviously it uh, allows us access to way, way more power than the normal skill tree, especially when you have a perfectly crafted triple one. So they nerfed that. Um, and honestly, with Harvest being in, you know, and, and Chaos Spam being, like, I'd say Chaos is fairly plentiful right now. Um, much more than before. Like now it's very not worth doing Chaos Rest because you get an insane amount of Chaos per day, right? Just from things like Tuyen and in Ultimatum, just from doing Ultimatum. So Chaos Spamming is like a relatively okay way to craft Cluster Jewels now. And getting perfect ones are not as easy now, and they've been nerfed in power. Maybe nerfed a little bit too much in power compared to how hard they are to get. So I'm not super happy where Cluster Jewels are right now. They're probably a little bit in an annoying spot. Some, or quite a few, are just completely useless as well. There's some you pick up and you're like, oh, I'm going to vendor this uh, five of these for a new one. Because, you know, some like, maybe it's area damage, you know, just... Some of them are barely ever used. They just don't have good notes. And speaking of Harvest, Harvest was insanity. Um, I think Harvest was very, very fun for a league. I think it was incredibly fun for a league. I had a lot of fun with it. It was way, way too powerful in the scope of the game because it invalidates every other crafting thing. I don't think anyone really had an issue with the Harvest League. I think everyone was like, oh, this was really fun. I could make insane items and it went away and people weren't expecting it to stay. Um, I think the main problem with Harvest was Ritual League. Or was it Ritual League? Whatever league they brought it back in. I think it was Ritual. Whatever league they, uh, they brought Harvest back in, that was the big issue. Because now, now it went core. And now we're like, wait a minute. Okay, well, it went core, we got used to it. And now you want to take it away again? They probably should have just never introduced it at full power. That, I mean, they've said that themselves too, but like that is like literal insanity to me. Um, because compared to everything else in the game, Harvest is like 200 times more powerful, right? Especially when at full power. And that leaves us with current Harvest, which has been nerfed extremely. Um, obviously, when, when the nerfs came out, a lot of people were misunderstanding things. Like there was a large, large amount of people that I had to talk to and like explain to in my community that didn't understand that you could still use like reforges on influence items. They thought that you couldn't use harvest at all on influence items. So uh, obviously people were extra angry from that. But on top of that, a lot of it was justified anger because it's now a shadow of its former self. And I've even been on podcasts with other streamers where I've said the harvest needs to be buffed. And some have said, well, Scizorin, if Harvest is already the most powerful mechanic in the game, why does it need to be buffed? And they're actually right, in a way. Uh, Harvest is the most powerful mechanic in the game, and it either needs to be buffed or removed, or other things need to be more deterministic. So because of Harvest being so deterministic, it feels incredibly bad. Uh, and I actually have an example of this right now. So if I go in game here right now, I have an item level 86 Colossal Shield crafted with a Dread Essence and it's hit the Dread Essence obviously 
and then I hit tier one hybrid. Now, if I find a augment defense, this has a reasonably okay chance to hit a decent amount of armor and be like a 2.8, maybe 3k armor shield. And if I use an exalted orb, it's got like a fraction of that. It's got maybe a one in 30, one in a hundred. I don't know how low the odds are, but it's a way, way lower. And because of the existence of harvest, I don't want to exalt this item. I'm never going to exalt this item. I am going to, it is going to sit in my stash and rot until, unless I find an augment defense. And that is, in my opinion, the big problem with Harvest because of its very existence, there are some crafts that you actively, as a player, you feel dumb for not waiting for Harvest or for not trading for Harvest because there are no alternative methods. Um, and that, that is, in my opinion, a very, very bad thing. So I think Harvest should either get a, well, I would say mild, but a, a mild buff in the form of the fields being full. And by that, I mean all the, all the bugs, things, the creatures, all the things you see there, they are there. None of this like 30% chance for a Blister Lord to actually be craftable. Um, I, I feel like it feels very, very bad to see and fight five Blister Lords and not get a single randomized influence. Um, and I think Harvest has a lot of value of being in the game, even augments aside, even if they completely removed augments or just completely removed Harvest and moved some of it to other places in the game, the reroll fragments, the reforge resistances and the reforge more likely. Some of these are incredibly good, but a little bit of it feels very out of place in the game. Like you end up just waiting for augments or non removed or like the null augments. Um, so at least I, I would love to know how you guys, if you guys feel the same way, if I nailed how everybody's feeling there, but I really feel like I would definitely prefer it being removed to being left in the current state because I feel other things in the game will start feeling okay or better with Harvest not existing in the current state. It is a little extreme right now because as far as I know, not just me, I haven't found an augment or a non-remove at all, uh, but neither has Tie Tie Killer or Steel Mage, which are also players that play a large amount of time. Another change that could be good is honestly Harvest being soul bound. That anything you use Harvest on becomes soul bound. I'm not a big fan of soul bound in games, but trading for Harvest as well when I was in trade league is terrible and, and just annoying. And yeah, I don't know. I'm very against soul bound, but I would prefer that to just never ever seeing an augment. Obviously, I am also biased here because I'm soul self bound. So soul bound currently will not affect me. Um, so more, it will be more important to listen to trade league players because if trade league players feel like they want it soul bound, then, then maybe it's think, time to think about it. And next up as well, we have another thing that was uh, fairly deterministic and I really, really enjoyed. And, uh, that was Ashleen level four at Betrayal. And if you don't know, Ashleen level four at Betrayal would add an unveil to your item and it gave a really, really powerful way to finish up items. It wasn't, you can't craft with Ashleen. It is literally just like the last step. Um, and not for every item necessarily either. Sometimes you would use the crafting bench. Sometimes you would Ashleen. And even when using Ashleen, there was a chance that the item would brick, right? Because you would just get three crafts and none of them were useful. But there was a decent chance that you would get something that was really powerful and that was great. I don't like the current iteration of Ashleen. Um, I've still been trying to use it, but I've had no luck with it so far. Uh, and it's a very, very large investment to even do Katarina. And I feel like that has never been something GGD has, uh, considered. That's a loud cat. Calm down. I'm recording a movie. I feel like with Betrayal, GGD never puts enough thought into like how punishing it is to actually do Katarina. It erases all the green and red lines, making it a lot harder. Um, and, and just farming like research and intelligence, sorry, uh, intervention would have been incredibly strong without doing Katarina. So it's a very big investment, moving Ashley and doing the thing over again, and then doing Katarina. And Katarina herself is not the easiest fight in the game. Not super hard, but at 83, Katarina can definitely kill you. So with that in mind, I definitely prefer the old Ashley. Um, I, th I think it was a really, really good way to wrap up some items with still an okay risk. There were definitely a few times where I just didn't hit what I wanted and I needed to reforge the item anyway. Um, now with it annulling something, it is a very big chance of it just destroying your item. Thankfully, it does respect meta mods, but that also makes it a little bit of a like rich man's crafting because very few casual players can afford two exalted orbs for like frivolous crafting, right? 
I, I would love to see some changes to uh to things like that. It's obviously hard for them to balance. They are trying to rein in power creep, and I get that. But I still feel like a lot of these things, they haven't really nailed it. But yeah, that's just uh, some of my thoughts on this. Um, just wanted to see how you guys are feeling. Obviously, it's very popular to shit on Path of Exile right now. Um, a lot of people don't like the League. I don't like the League. I'm still having fun playing, though. Uh, but that's more because I'd say, like, PoE as a, as a game is in a... just It's a, just an enjoyable game. Uh, and obviously, uh, for me as an experienced player, it's pretty easy for me to get over all the changes since I played in 2015 when the game was very slow. But uh, I just wanted to air out my thoughts anyway and uh, let, let you guys know what I'm thinking and if you guys think the same. Either way, thanks for watching. Sub if you like the video. More importantly, try to die less than I do.